Right, we're now going to work with two points and try and figure out what the vector is between them. So let's just have any two points. I'll call them A and B. Now because they're points in space, there's going to be an origin. So we'll put an origin down here somewhere. And just looking at what we did before, we have a position vector for each of our points. So we have a position vector A that points at that one. And then we have a position vector B that points at that one. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the vector that goes from A to B. So we're trying to find this vector along here. And we'll label that AB and we'll put a vector sign over it. I could have put a wee squiggle under it, it doesn't matter. There's a number of notations. But AB is the vector that goes from A to B. Okay, now if we start at the origin and head out to A, we have the vector A. And then we add on the vector AB because you add vectors head to tail. So start here, go to that one, carry on from there to there. So plus the vector AB is exactly the same as if we'd started at the origin and gone to point B. Okay, so we couldn't go A plus AB is the same as B. And then a little bit of algebra tells us that the vector AB is equal to B minus A. Okay, so for example, if we have a couple of points, so A is 1, 7, 3, and B is uh, 2, negative 1, 4, then the vector in between these two things, which we're going to call AB, is B minus A. So it's going to be 2 take away 1 is 1, negative 1 take away 7 is negative 8, and 4 take away 3 is 1. Okay, alert, something really important here. You'll have noticed that I've now used an ordered triple for a vector. Okay, so these two things are both points, point A and point B, and I've subtracted them, and I've come up with an ordered triple, because what I've really done is I've just used some shorthand, and I've really said what I should really have done is I should have said vector A is 1i plus 7j plus 3k. Okay, so my position vector for point A is this one, and my position vector for point B is 2i minus j plus 4k. And then I could have done a subtraction. A, B is vector B minus vector A. And I've come up with 2i minus 1i is 1i. Negative 1j take away 7j is minus 8j. And 4k take away 3k is 1k. And now I've actually got, well, just clearly, because I've got i, j, and k components in it, clearly a vector for AB. But because we can't be bothered writing i's, j's, and k's every 30 seconds, we summarize it, we squish it down. It's probably a better word than that than somewhere, but never mind. Um, abbreviate, that's the word. We abbreviate it to just another ordered triple. Okay, so you'll see ordered triples used for points and for vectors. And you need to be really careful to distinguish which one it is that you're working with. And the way that you tell is you look at the notation of the thing at it. So this has got a vector sign over it, or I could have done it with a squiggle under it, which says it's a vector. So this is 1i minus 8j plus 1k, whereas these ones are points. So it's just the point, 1, 7, 3, 2, negative 1, 4, points in space. difference between a point and a vector, even though they're often written looking the same way just because it's easier to it make sense and everything flows. But just be aware of the difference between a point and a vector.